Hi guys, I show you now in this video a um, little accessory, or well, not a little accessory, it's, it's a big accessory part for my camera. It's a battery. Um, some guys know this type of battery, some guys not. It's a V-mount battery, a special form factor for video cameras uh, from ENG up to cinema cameras or um, similar cameras and so and this battery are great for my um, especially for my work with my three cameras and I want describe this battery a bit and what I would do with this battery and where I use this and so I start with a little overview and show you the parts of this battery and uh, with the charger so I'll start with the battery first um, this V-mount batteries are very huge. Uh, you get can get this in different sizes, um, from small one uh, up to this big and bigger. And this battery are from the company Anton Bauer. Great, great quality. And uh, the series is Titan SL. And I use this batteries for my um, Red DSMC one and two bodies, and sometimes for rental cameras light area Alexa mini and this batteries are used to v-mount system so it's very compatibility to the most uh, grip and accessory in the film market and so and the bauer produce uh, or the, um, and the bauer make this batteries or this type of kind of shaped batteries in the other mount is the gold mount it is a uh, other um, very common mount in the cinema um, range or cinema uh, camera range and so but I have this in V-mount because of many accessories they use V-mount lock and V-mount batteries from my lamps to my um, camera was and up to some special DIY or special custom made things so you have I have a kit um, here for example with two batteries I have around four batteries as a, to this, but I have additional four batteries, so I have total six batteries. Why I have so much batteries? Because I use this not for only for my cameras, or for, not for only filming. I use this for long-term time lapse, and I say later something about this. Um, this battery is, works great. I'm very happy with this. I tested many batteries from cheapo up to this and this are very reliable. Um, by the way, you cannot fly with this battery. I heard about you need a special smaller batteries. There's a regulation uh, from, for the, from the airlines. Uh, I'm not so in this um, because mostly when I fly, I have on set, on location, a guy who has this batteries type two. Um, yes, I have around six batteries now I show you two of them that is the charger the charger has great ports uh, four pin port uh, LED indicator and um, yes a grip for transportation a ventilation as a ventilator a fan for cooling and some other switches some power on and off switch and the standard power connector uh, by the way to the fan this fan is a bit noisy it's around more maybe a 40 millimeter I have to look which size and which voltage maybe I can change it to the high-end fans from Noctua maybe Noctua fans would work in this um, but be, uh, be patient if you use this on a set where example is you must be quiet like a church or um, uh, conference. It's better you put this charger out of the next room um, to charge a battery because it gets very loud. Uh, to the battery itself, each battery with my camera setup, important with my camera setup, work around four and a half hours. And now the batteries have the display. There you can see the one hundred percent and um, or the time estimation. I work with this four hours and a half. It depends on the camera. Some cameras need more power. For example, the big 
uh, Red Ranger draw the battery a bit faster with more. Uh, I use this for three hours, but mostly I can use this around four hours and a half. Um, great capacity, um, great quality, very nice charge. I have no problem with this um, charger. I can use the four pin for directly power the camera. For example, Ari or uh, we adapter the red camera and it works great. Um, standard four pin, standard remount. You can charge other companies with this charger too. For example, Bebop or the IDX. Yes, you can charge it and it works. You can charge this battery with other chargers too. Uh, for example, on a set I use a Bebop charger. It's the same size and build like this. And it works great. Um, this to this battery special again. Yes, you see the display, the typical standard V mount. Uh, by the way, these are not stackable like this uh, pack uh, batteries. We can some IDE, IDX batteries. We can stack it. This is not possible to stack. And yes, on this side, the standard D tap. Sorry, you can use this to power cameras, accessory. Or um, if you use the red, I use a D-tap to Lemo for the red and slam it on my red with all this bulky um, V-mount plate. And this is a nice thing if, uh, why I like this, this USB port. And now that comes the fine and interesting part. Um, I use this battery for my Sony A7R Mark III and other Sony cameras that use USB power. And that's an, come the nice thing. I can use this huge bunch of batteries with USB power for time lapsing. And I use three cam uh, two cameras. Um, first, I use my A7R Mark III where I now filming, and um, with a gimbal. Then I make this with a DJI Ronin uh, or the DJI RS2 gimbal. And on this, I have um, this camera and. I power the whole setup or the whole camera with this. And the second camera is the DJI Osmo Pocket. Both cameras get power from this bricks. And so I can do a very long time lapse. The longest time lapse I use with this batteries are around five hours is the sunrise. And yes, it works, it works, it works. Um, it depends of the camera and size and so. Um, the other time that I will use the DJ Pocket, Osmo Pocket, was in the theater um, set. I rode there a film with some guys and I do a time lapse parallel to this. And I use the uh, DJ Osmo Pocket with this battery, and it was on this battery around four hours and the battery will stand around 90 persons. I don't know why. Sometimes it stand higher. So great, great for guys who want to do long time lapse. Maybe I try this uh, to shoot the time lapse from the Elbe here in Hamburg, the River Elbe and um, this tide goes six hours up and down. Uh, so I try to do one tide um, hopefully the camera, uh, the, this better works. So I'm, but there I see no problem because the thing is you have a battery inside the camera too. So maybe um, I don't know how the camera really work with this. Which battery is the first going down? Um, also, what a, which battery um, use the cameras first? I don't know. Um, so I think the internal battery go d uh, first down and then the camera use maybe the external big block here. Um, yes, great, great quality. I like this uh, Anton Bauer machines. Um, yes, you can use it in everywhere, everywhere in the world. It has a um, uh, multi power supply from 100 volt up to 240 volt. 50 and 60 hertz, charge it output up to 16 or 17, 2.8 A max, 
and the adapter out can the same. So quality is great. It's not cheap, but you need good, good batteries for long-term use. I use this battery, for example, in very cold conditions, and it's worked great. Um, I were used it in hot conditions. It's worked great. The Titan series is great for um, many, many watch of work. Um, I use sometimes the USB port for charging my phone, and it's charged very fast, this, my phone. It's a typical Samsung phone with a USB-C. And the crazy thing I tested is um, I tried to charge a MacBook. And yes, it's charged, but not perfectly. But in the emergency, you can use this. You can use it uh, with many USB devices, from normal USB micro uh, or a mini up to the USB-C. Um, because you have here this USB port here, sorry, this, and why not? Um, the other crazy, or the other nice thing is what I use or what I tested is I plug here the power and plug here the camera so I can charge this with this machine and this battery charge my camera. For example, the Sony A7R Mark III. Um, Great. Maybe interesting this product uh, to Astro guys. They use um, for long term uh, uh, work on the astrophotography. This may be great too because they need huge power for the whole setup. It delivery power in different ways. If you are very good at engineering or in electrical, you can use this parts. And the normally output is are 14.4 volts. Maximum output as an amp are 10 amps. This is great. Um, maybe you can use this for other camera thing work. Also, for example, the um, these USB put out around this typical USB power and maybe this D-tab put out the maximum for 14 volt and you can get D-tab to 7.4 volts, two adapters and many other accessories for D-tab. Another good guy used use this uh, D-tab to a D-tab distributor where you can put everything with D-tab on and use this as a main source, power source. They have used with this um, uh, Teradec, um, the camera itself, uh, the focus motors. Yes, and this great, great quality, great power. And I can recommend it to everybody this. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by this Anten Bauer. I bought this whole bunch of battery, battery banks for myself. But I want to say about this um, because many guys think, hey, what battery I need and what I can buy. Um, it's not cheap. It's, it's not really cheap, but you need it sometimes. Good batteries are uh, grateful if you have used a camera a long, long time. Yes, I hope you can understand a bit and hope you like it. Uh, if you have some questions, try to comment it and uh, try to ask uh, answer it sorry ask not um, answer your questions uh, so uh, there are great other maybe other and uh, maybe uh, there are great other companies for example bebop and co and idx but my my uh, knowledge uh, my um, know-how is about this and I use Anton Bauer since a long, long time. There was Anton Bauer in the past. I had this display on this side, the small one. There was the big one and great, great uh, quality. So have fun with your gear or with your pro video gear. And if you have, again, if you have a question, post it down in the comments. And I say now, for now, bye-bye and peace.